we need Enzo more, Chelsea fans react to Brighton's £90 million asking price for Moses Caicedo. Chelsea has failed to find a breakthrough in negotiations with Benfica over a move for Enzo Fernandez with Brighton setting a huge asking price for Moses Caicedo. Chelsea fans have reacted to Brighton's £90 million asking price for Moses Caicedo by demanding the Blues pay slightly more to sign Enzo Fernandez. The West London outfit had a £55 million verbal offer for Caicedo rejected by the Seagulls with Arsenal now looking to swoop in and sign the talented midfielder. Chelsea's priority to strengthen their midfield options this month is Fernandez, but negotiations with Benfica have proved difficult. The Portuguese club are adamant that the Argentina World Cup winner will only leave the club if the Blues pay his £105 million release clause in full. Chelsea News 77 reported earlier this month that the Blues were willing to pay above his release clause to secure him if they can agree on favourable terms. Benfica head coach Roger Schmidt revealed that he is confident Enzo Fernandes will remain at the club despite Chelsea reigniting their attempt to sign the midfielder before the January transfer window closes. Caicedo is not set to play for Brighton again until after the transfer window with the Blues and Arsenal vying for his signature ahead of deadline day, but many fans feel that Todd Burley should just pay the extra £15 million it would take to activate Fernandez's release clause. We take a look at the best reactions from Chelsea supporters on social media below. At CFC Emmett underscore tweeted, £90 million for Caicedo is ridiculous. Might as well pay £15 million extra to sign Enzo Fernandez, who for me is by far a more needed player in our midfield. Even if we can only land him in the summer, best to wait. At Majel Futballister posted, Brighton owners defo smoking something. At Blue underscore footy reacted to Brighton's valuation of Caicedo similarly after the user posted, if Chelsea buying Caicedo will make it difficult to sign Enzo in January or in the summer, Arsenal can have him. Enzo Fernandez should remain the main target. If signing both is possible then that's a bonus. At Lalkovic Milan 10 agreed and tweeted, We Chelsea need Enzo Fernandez more. It remains to be seen whether the Blues will make an improved offer for Caicedo or pull the trigger and activate Fernandez's release clause ahead of deadline day. And also, Chelsea is now ready to attack for its favourite option at Stamford Bridge. Chelsea is exploring many midfield options ahead of next week's transfer deadline. Fabrizio Romano has informed Chelsea News 7-7. According to the Italian journalist, the Blues are speaking to many clubs and agents and could soon make a move for the preferred target. Chelsea Transfer News Chelsea has hit multiple brick walls in their search for a midfielder this month. As per The Athletic, the West London club have had a £55 million bid for Brighton star Moses Caicedo turned down. Their failure to sign the 21-year-old has seen them turn to Everton's Amadou Onana, but their pursuit of him has also come to nothing with The Telegraph claiming that the player has knocked back an approach from Todd Burley and company. The above comes after Chelsea failed to reach an agreement with Benfica for Enzo Fernandez, who appeared to be their primary midfield target earlier in the window. What has Fabrizio Romano said about Chelsea's midfield search? Romano has told GMS that Chelsea has not given up yet on signing someone for the middle of the park. Discussing their search, the transfer expert said, Chelsea are exploring many options, so they're speaking to many clubs, too many agents, to understand the conditions of many deals, and then I think in the next days, they will attack their favourite option. So this is the general situation at the moment around Chelsea. Will Chelsea sign a midfielder before next week's deadline? Graham Potter will be hoping so, especially with N'Golo Kante and Denis Zakaria both out injured. However, it is far from a guarantee. Fernandez, Caicedo and Onana all seem to be out of reach right now, so it would not be a shock if Chelsea's midfield still looked the same after January. Anyone signed now by the Blues would probably be the club's fourth or fifth choice target. Considering that, it may be worth just waiting until the summer when it will be easier to land one of the above names. Another top midfielder in Declan Rice is also expected to be available, with The Guardian reporting that West Ham could be forced to sell him for around £80 million. Far behind the top four and out of both domestic cups, Chelsea's season is pretty much over. With that being the case, it may not be necessary for them to panic by and bring in someone who the club had not even considered a few weeks ago. What do you think of Enzo and Caicedo's transfer stories? Leave a comment. For more Chelsea news and update, please subscribe and hit the notification button. Chelsea is our name. Chelsea, the Blues. Chelsea, the best.